Welcome to the Mortgage Rate Weekly Market Update for the week of December 3rd, 2018. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Prime Residential Mortgage. Let me give you an update. Well, last week, some more good news. Mortgage rates followed through and then dropped a little bit lower last week. Take a look at the bond chart on the screen. You can see mortgage bonds hit the highs not seen in seven years at the beginning of November with that red candle. But since then, we were able to rally off a floor of support, move higher, break through the 25-day moving average, stuck in a little bit of a trading channel, but then last week we were able to break out of that trading channel by breaking above the 50-day moving average right there with that green candle on uh, Tuesday. Followed through all week and ended on Friday with a green candle. That's good news. So bonds right now in the middle of a trading range trapped between the floor of resistance, I mean floor of support at the 50-day moving average and at a ceiling resistance of 100.914. Now, if they can break above that um, ceiling resistance, that'll be a good move. We can see mortgage rates, excuse me, mortgage interest rates move even lower. But word of caution on the chart there on the, that's called a stochastic, um, the stochastics, that's a technical measure. Bonds are overbought. Now, if they have a negative stochastic crossover, that's going to be a bad sign. We probably would see mortgage bonds sell off at that point, which would move interest rates higher. So with that in mind, right now, we're going to see if mortgage bonds can make a run for that 50-day, uh, uh, sorry, for that uh, ceiling resistance. But if we get a stochastic crossover, that's going to be a challenge. So we're going to recommend carefully floating your mortgage interest rate to see if bonds can continue this rally and move above that ceiling resistance. But if we get a negative stochastic crossover, which would be a sell-off on the overbought bond, we would quickly switch to a locking stance. So just keep following us the rest of the week, but you can start carefully floating your mortgage interest rate. Now, if we dig into the economic news, uh, big news last week, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell uh, released a statement in New York City, um, which moved both the stock market and the bond market higher. And here's why there were some key takeaways from that. The first one is we know that moving, he said that we know that moving too fast to hike interest rates will risk economic expansion. The second thing he says, it may take a year or more to fully realize the effects of the interest rate heights they've been doing. And the Federal Reserve doesn't see dangerous excess in the stock market, because they don't think it's oversold. Um, and the policy rate, which is the Fed funds rate, is just below neutral. So with that in mind, um, we're, the takeaway was we believe the Feds are going to still raise one more time in December. But instead of raising the Fed funds rate three times in 2019, as they said, it's now down to possibly just one uh, raise in 2019. So that's good news for mortgage bonds and the stock market like that as well. So that's why we saw a rally in both bonds and stocks last week. Then we saw a read on domestic uh, gross domestic product or GDP. Third, um, the third reading of the third quarter came out at 3.5%. That was the same as the first reading. Um, and that, so that's very consistent. That was like a non-issue, non-news thing there. But GDP, third reading stayed the same. Now, weak initial jobless claims, they ticked up again. 10,000 claims this week to 234,000 claims from the previous week, which was 224. Now, that previous week's gonna be the sample week for the November jobs report, which comes out this Friday, December 7th. So, we're starting to see maybe a reversal in the trend from, of the jobless claims increasing. It's too, still too early to see, they're still very low, but if we keep seeing this trend increase, that could be the first sign of a reversal in the uh, jobs market and the unemployment rate. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Now in housing news, we saw pending home sales for October 2018 come out and they were down 2.6% from September to 110, I'm sorry, to 102.1 on the index. Pending home sales are now down 6.7% year over year. Now sales in the West fell most, while actually the Northeast actually saw an increase of 1.1% gain. So remember, that's an average of the whole United States. Different areas can see different um, numbers. The National Association of Realtors is attributing the decline to higher mortgage interest rates, which really hit in October. So that's why we saw a, a drop in the pending home sales in October. Then we saw new home sales for 2018 come out. They fell 9% from September. New home sales are now down 12% year over year. But that's better than September's numbers because they were down 13% year over year in September. So we're down 12, which is less than the 13. So that's a good sign there. New home sales measure the number of signed contracts to purchase new home construction. So the median home price for a new home sale was 309.7, which is down 3.1% year over year. And the average sales price was 395,000. Inventory levels for new home sales is way better than existing homes. It is at 7.4 months supply. Remember, six months is a healthy supply. Existing homes is down around four, so that's the problem. Most of your home sales are existing homes. There's very low inventory in the existing home market. That is hurting sales, but for new homes, we actually have a good supply in new home sales. 
Then we saw the Federal Housing Finance Agency release their FHFA home price index for September. It showed home prices are up 0.2% from August and are up 6% year over year. That's the average for all the United States. But if we dig into the report, you can see the South Atlantic, which includes Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, is up 7.1%. So very good home price appreciation there. Then we saw the Case Shiller 20 City Home Price Index for September was up 5.1% year over year. That's down slightly from 5.5% in August, but that means home prices are still going up, just the rate at which they're going up is slowing slightly. So it's still a good market, still appreciating with wage growth is finally kicking in. So that means we've got home prices going up, but if wage prices go up, people can still afford the increase in the home. So that's good news there. Now, if we dig into the local news, we got a first time home buyer seminar Saturday, December 15th in Newark, Delaware at the Christian Hill Hotel from 10 a.m. to noon. And then we're back in Wilmington the following week, which is Wednesday, December 19th from 6 to 8 p.m. in Independent Small EXP Realty Office. You can register for either one of those events. Give us a call in the office, 302-703-0727 or online, www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. And then we're in Maryland on Saturday, December 15th in Hyattsville, Maryland. You can register for that one. I'm sorry, it's a Saturday, 10 a.m. to noon. You can register for that one at 410 410- 412-3319 or online www.marylandhomebuyerseminar.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.